Good morning, everyone. Uh, those uh, six percent who get into my class, you can imagine the discounts they get. You can imagine the discounts they get in uh, everything that they try to buy. Uh, this morning, I'm going to talk about the model and what it is and how it's different. And this afternoon, you're going to practice with the model. I've got a case for you to do. So you're going to negotiate with each other this afternoon, and we'll see how you do compared to each other and many other people that I've taught uh, around the world. Uh, this model is a new model of human interaction. It's very broad. It doesn't depend upon the facts. The same model, the same process, can be used with any set of facts. In fact, this model is intended to be used to raise your salary, to get the kids to go to bed, to get lots of discounts, uh, to improve your relationships, and to give you more control over everything that you do. So exactly the same tools should be used to get a discount in the store, to get a raise, or anything else. It's not fact specific which means that great negotiators using this model can negotiate anything and bad negotiators can't negotiate anything. Why is this important? It's important because negotiation, as I define it, is the basic process of human interaction. Every time two people interact, there's negotiation going on. Walking down the street, in the store, uh, on the job with tribal leaders in some other country. My definition of negotiation is someone's trying to meet their goals with somebody else. Verbally, non-verbally, consciously, unconsciously. You can't get away from it. You can only do it well or badly. Saying you avoid negotiation means you stand on the sidelines and they score points all day long. Now that doesn't mean you have to give yourself over to negotiating consciously every moment, but it does mean that the more conscious you are of what goes on around you, the better you will do. Put another way, negotiation is to society as math is to science. It's the basic process that supports everything else. No self-respecting scientist would dream of pursuing excellence in his or her field without a good working knowledge of math. Yet in today's world, billions of people spend trillions of dollars a year without a clue about how to effectively interact with each other, and this is the result. We have political problems, economic problems, and personal problems. If you look around the world, it's pretty much of a mess. About 17 years ago, largest merger in history, AOL Time Warner. AOL, a major computer firm, Time Warner, a publishing firm. $325 billion, largest merger in history, dead on day one. When the AOL people walked in, wheeling bicycles and wearing shorts, and they saw the Time Warner people in white shirts and skinny ties. And it seems that none of the high-priced lawyers and investment bankers had thought for five minutes on how they were going to put those two cultures together. They never did. The merger failed. The most important day in the life of any deal is not the day you sign the deal. It's the next day. When everyone shows up in the same place, what does that look like? So I've spent about 30 years trying to figure out what was wrong. And we interviewed, advised, trained more than 40,000 people in 60 countries, from country presidents to school children in South Africa to people in China to people in France, all over the world. Uh, and we started, unlike other negotiation research, not from the laboratory, but from the real world, and worked upwards to find the principles. 
We've done more than a thousand studies. We've collected millions of pages of qualitative and quantitative data. I also use my own experience as a serial entrepreneur. I run a cargo airline. I've been chairman of a listed high-tech company. I've sold bananas in Bolivia. Uh, and I've run a medical services company, among other things. And what I found out was that the basic instructions that all of us have been given about negotiating with others since we were children are wrong. That is to say, they don't meet our goals. The conflict model doesn't work. Conventional wisdom is obsolete. Win-win, who cares? And overall, lack of an effective process.